Hello, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treat implant, utilize, and maintain locator attachments for implant overdentures. The purpose of this video is to describe an exciting new product called the Zest Chairside Denture Prep and Polish Kit. In this technique demonstration, I'm going to be utilizing this burr block to process two locator denture caps into my complete denture, utilizing the burr block and the Zest Chairside attachment process and materials. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and describe this burr block in greater depth and detail. As I zoom in, the first thing you'll notice is, is that the burr block has a very nice attractive design with a premium feel to it. Included in this burr block is everything that the clinician you would need to process either a locator or Saturno denture cap into your existing complete denture. As I open the burr block, the first thing that you'll notice is, is you have six burrs of varying names and different designs. You'll see here the top three burrs are your preparation burrs. Your bottom three burrs are your polishing burrs that you would use after you have attached your Saturno or denture or locator denture cap to the denture. Additionally, Zest Anchors has given you the option of including some favorites that you might have, uh, what you would want to use for any sort of conversion. So there's some additional holes here on the, on the side if you wanted to include those burrs with it as well. But rapidly what you'll find is, is that this burr block has been efficiently and intriguingly designed because it has an exciting new couple of burrs I want to describe here. First and foremost, this unique burr called the Chairside Recess Burr is the first thing that should grab your eye. This burr is specifically designed by Zest Anchors, so that way you can quickly and easily prepare the exact size recess for the locator and Saturno denture caps. As you see here, as I pull out a locator denture cap, just on this analog, you'll notice that this is perfectly sized, so that way you can very easily insert that recess burr, just like so, into the complete denture, preparing a hole that will match either that or the Saturno denture cap. So this burr is nice. It's really, really uniquely designed, so you don't have to go ahead and do any crazy motions. It's just insert vertically and pull out vertically in a very straightforward, gentle motion. The recess burr is meant to be used at high speed in a straight laboratory handpiece or with a nose cone that goes into your operatory. And the RPM speed recommended is 18,000. Additionally, across the top, you'll notice that you have an undercut burr. The undercut burr is doing just that. You'll create an undercut on the surface of the recess along the walls to aid in mechanical retention of the chair side material. Additionally, a vent hole burr is utilized to create a vent hole through the lingual slope. The trimming burr is used to trim up any of the excess material you might have at the end of the procedure. The grinding burr is meant to grind a little bit of the uh, chair side material that might flow out over the sides of the locator denture cap. And the polishing burr, a single use burr only, is meant to be used at the end of the procedure just to fine tune the adjustments. Um, all of these burrs can be purchased individually, but Zest has gone ahead and, and provided a unique kit design, everything all in one, so that way it really facilitates your procedure. So let's go ahead and first step is, is we want to prepare our recess holes. I'm going to go ahead and utilize this chair side model with a patient existing complete denture that you'll see here. Now we've gone ahead and we've already put on the locator attachments, but let's simulate the clinical procedures of what you would need. Step one is, is you would utilize whatever sort of material, a rigid PVS material on the antaglial surface of the complete denture, just like so, injecting and seating the complete denture onto the locator denture holes. Okay, so now that our material has fully set, we can go ahead and separate that, giving us a couple of marking holes of where the locator attachments are showing through. So first step is, is we go ahead and we take out our grind burr. The grind burr allows us to make a little mark through the heavy body registration material, just as we indicate here. Straight through our PDS material, creating a mark. As I remove that, what you'll notice is, is that there's a couple of holes that are indicated right through where the grind burr is gone. At this point, we can take out our recess burr, as we see here, the recess burr, and go down vertically straight down into our uh, round burr hole. As we see here, the locator recess burr is held vertically and inserted just with a slight rocking motion 
until you reach the area that corresponds to which attachment you wish to use. Now, as I stop right here, that position corresponds to the locator denture cap, right with the flush end of the recess burr, as indicated right here. If I go further up, sinking the burr all the way into the denture, that corresponds to our Saturno attachment. I'm going to repeat that for the other side. And cleaning off some of that space right in there, and just with an air. Now what I can do is just try this back onto my existing complete denture onto my ridge, and you'll notice that I have just a little bit of rock, so I'll have to go a little bit further. There we go. And to the other side. Perfect. So the first thing you'll notice is the locator recess burr creates a very precise and clean recess. So now at this point, once I verify that my complete denture has a sufficient recess hole, as indicated here, I've completed using the locator recess spur right into there. Trying it back on, I no longer have any rock. At this point, what I can do is, is take my block out spacers and my denture cap, trying it on to my locator attachment. and repeating with the second one. And again, trying my denture back in the mouth. Everything here looks pretty good. I might want to deepen just this one side a little bit more. We're rocking just a touch and repeating. As we see here. And now we have a very nice fit. Just for demonstration purposes today, I won't be um, utilizing any of the traditional fit checking material um, just to um, speed along the video. Now we see here we have everything that we need. Uh, the recess hole has been very precisely prepared is if I take the locator denture cap, trying it into my complete denture recess, my one I've just repair, prepared with the recess burr, you can see here it's perfectly sized to fit either the um, locator or the Saturno attachment, except that with the Saturno I would have to go a little bit deeper as you see right here. So now at this point we can go ahead and utilize our second burr which is our recess undercut burr. So here we're going to put back our recess burr, pull out our undercut burr, and prepare an undercut. Utilizing the undercut burr, also on high speed, I'm going to trace along the sides of the wall, the complete denture, providing mechanical undercuts and locking the chair side material into place. Okay, so now I have used the undercut burr, also at high speed, putting that burr back. I'm going to use the vent hole burr right now. The vent hole burr is going to also be used on high speed, starting with from the intaglio surface of the complete denture, I'm going to direct my burr right at the junction of where the superior wall is and then also the lingual or palatal wall. Just inserting straight through a gentle forward motion, just like so. And just like so. And sometimes we have to clean it out a little bit by coming this direction and also that direction. Just helps to really make for a nice, clean, easy vent hole. At this point, we can then take our vent hole burr away and put our burr block down because we've completed using the recess, undercut, and vent hole preparation burrs. We'll come back to the trim, grind, and polish burr once we have processed our uh, locator attachments. Okay, so now at this point, we have our model and our patient all completely set, ready to go for processing these locator denture caps to the complete denture. As you see in here, I've already shown you using the undercut recess and vent hole burr. And now since we're using the chair side attachment processing material, we don't need any sort of primers or any bonding agents or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this in the same fashion that you've seen on other clinical videos, filling my recess to about two thirds of the way full. Just like so and then seating our complete denture onto our locator 
denture caps. And the key is, is that I'd like to see some of that material flowing out the lingual through the vent holes. And now at this point, again, we can use just a finger pressure from behind the patient for approximately four to five minutes, or we can accelerate that uh, with the light cure option of the chair side material. So I'm using the light curing feature of the chair side material just to accelerate the set of the chair side APM. Okay, so now at this point my material has fully polymerized. I can go ahead and separate my denture from the model. There we go, nice and snug. And you'll notice that I have uh, successfully picked up the two denture caps um, for the locator over denture system. I'm going to put my model aside just for a moment. We're going to go ahead and change out from the vent hole burr and we're going to switch over to our either our grinding or trimming burr. I like to start out with the grinding burr. Let's go ahead and insert that into our handpiece and we'll start trimming around the portion of the locator denture cap just like so. Cleaning out any of the areas where I might have a little excess material. Just touching the black processing portion of the locator cap. Same thing over here. I can take an instrument and just very carefully pluck that out and then start to clean up the intaglio surface of the complete denture. Very easily, just like so. Okay, so I've successfully gone ahead and I've cleaned up the top portion of the locator denture cap just using my grind burr. At this point I can remove my grind burr, put it back into my burr block, and I'm going to use the trimming burr to go ahead and start cleaning the cameo surface of the complete denture where my vent holes are. And I typically like to do that from this direction underneath, just very carefully trimming some of those areas. And then the same thing in here, very easily. And you'll notice that I have a very nice appearance to that lingual slope right in there. Okay, so now at this point we've cleaned up all the intaglio portion of the complete denture around the denture caps as well as the cameo surface. The only step that we have left to do is to utilize the polishing burr that comes in the prep and polish kit. Now these are one-time use only burrs. Zest recommends using these on low speed in a continuous and smooth motion just providing some final polishing procedures for the cameo surface of the complete denture. just like so. If you feel a preference towards using a rag wheel after this step, that's perfectly fine as well. I recommend using this polishing burr, then using the rag wheel. Taking my burr, we can put it back here into burr burr block. Again, that's a one-time use only burr. The other burrs are sterilizable and autoclavable. The recommendations for the autoclaving as well as sterilizing cycles are on the Zest websites and instruction manual. Now at this point, I've successfully completed processing uh, the um, locator denture cap to the complete denture here using the prep and polish kit. At this point, it's pretty easy just to remove my black processing males. As we see here, and then inserting whichever sort of attachment of our choice. And in this case, we'll use a blue attachment. Using our core tool, we're going to go ahead and insert the blue nylon male inserts, trying it back onto our patient, verifying that we have successfully utilized the prep and polish kit to provide recess holes as well as the chair side material to give us a precise um, preparation of the recess holes for the preparation of either a locator or Saturno denture cap. So that's kind of been the end of the video here. Uh, this is um, Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator. We've described uh, from start to finish utilizing the chair side prep and polish kit. I hope this video has been instrumental to you as well. Um, and you can go ahead, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, go to the Zest Anchors website, zestanchors.com. Uh, they have information related to purchasing the kit on there as well, as well as the further instruction manual related to the materials of what's used in the burr, what's the cost of the burr kit, etc., as well as how to autoclave it, take care of it, and the clinical procedures of, of some of the take home of this video. This is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, uh, utilize, maintain locator overdenture attachments for implant overdentures. Thank you. Stay tuned for additional videos coming in the future. It's a pleasure. Bye bye.